Hello guys, it's Millie Simlish and welcome to another video which today is a bunk bed build, my first of many I'm sure. Um, but of course yesterday we got the free update including bunk beds and tray improvements. So um, the tray improvements I haven't tried out for myself, I haven't really played the game since yesterday so I'm not quite sure. Um, but I'll be interested to see, if, I mean I haven't really read exactly what they mean by tray improvements. Um, I know they it just they just kind of said, at least in the article I read, that it's kind of a little overhaul of some of the base game traits, but I don't know exactly what the difference is, so it'd be interesting to see if I see that. And I know there's definitely rumours of another trait slot in Cass, which I would kill for. <laughs> um, but, of course, one of the biggest um, parts of the update was the fact that we got bunk beds and bug fixes as well which is always appreciated for me i mean i don't know about anyone else but i really had a problem and i didn't realize it was sort of so um widely experienced for a while i'm part of a few sims facebook groups so i know a lot of people complaining about this um but when i last had toddlers in my family um i had to like cheat their hunger needs because they wouldn't eat anything um, it turns out I was just making foods that are a bit too fancy, but now they eat um, anything you make them, which is good um, and very unrealistic as well, um, but good for players. But yes, going back to bunk beds, I'm going to be honest, I am not one of those people who were like desperately calling for bunk beds, um, but that's not to say that I am complaining about getting them or that I don't want them. I'm very glad we have them. I think, I mean, I mentioned I've never actually played Sims 3 Generations, but I did buy it in the recent um, sale for the Sims 3 expansion packs, so I will be playing with it very soon, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, but I think it's kind of that missed, um, you know, family gameplay from The Sims 3. I played a lot of The Sims 3. I love The Sims 3, but I just didn't play Generations. Um, I took a big break and it came out during that and yeah I don't know I just I never got around to getting it but I know that everyone says it's such a good um expansion pack so I am looking forward to playing with that but yeah I think because of that I don't really have that much experience of bunk beds in um the sims so I wasn't that fussed um and I do tend to give my kids their own rooms as well and quite big houses but as I said I am not going to complain in any way about this I'm so glad we got them and the way that I kind of think that I would use them in kind of builds for myself and maybe builds on this channel going forward is to do more of a kid's room. Um, because the thing is, like, it's all very well, like, playing with more, multiple kids and they all have one room and they have bunk beds, which is fantastic. But eventually they're going to grow up and older sims, so like teens, young adults, adults and elders can all use bunk beds. But realistically, most people aren't like in their old age and still using bunk beds. So eventually you're going to have to give them their own room. So that's usually what I do at the moment is just kind of give my like all my kids one room. But I think it might be quite useful going forward to create kind of adult bedrooms and then one kind of kid bedroom, maybe even like a nursery as well. Um, and then all kids, maybe up to children, can sleep there. And then when they're teens, they get their own room. They can move into one of the adult bedrooms. I think that would be quite cool, especially if you have a bigger house. You can kind of um, separate it in that way. I think it's going to be really useful. And I know a lot of people are complaining that you can't put things underneath it, which I definitely get. I mean, you can put desks if you do like one tile desks or desks to the side. Um, but you can't put them sort of directly underneath bunk beds. I think for me, gameplay wise, I don't really mind, but aesthetically, I think it looks really cute. I have seen, seen some people do it anyway, just to put like a full on desk, like the one that, that I've got in this room here underneath the bunk beds. And it looks really, really cool. But then you can't use the bunk beds. So um, I didn't want to do that. And I struggled a little bit with this room because it is it's on the smaller side. It's not that small, but I basically wanted to put as many things as I possibly could in it. Um, so it felt small to me. Um, and yeah, so as you can see from the title of the video as well, this is a small-ish apartment. Um, it's in Evergreen Harbour for a single dad with four kids, all sort of children age um, and all sharing this room and you know realistically this is what I'm saying like once they age up I think eventually he would have to move out to somewhere a bit bigger but for now they can all kind of share the room and I thought 
it was a concept that I really liked because I wanted to reflect multiple different personalities. So there's some like uh, one of them's into sports, one of them's into music, creativity. I actually did make a family in cast to sort of test this build out. And um, I made, there's like four aspirations for children and I made each child have a different aspiration. So I think that would be really fun. Like, I just think there would be a whole sort of range of personalities. And then for the dad, or it could be mum in this apartment, it could be either... Um, I imagine they were a teacher and, you know, they love having children around. They love teaching children. Um, so I think that works quite well because they probably, you know, are trying to teach their kids to just do whatever they want to do, be whoever they want to be and just sort of embrace lots of kind of skills and clubs. Um, but I think if you were actually to play a household like that, it would get very stressful and hectic. I get stressed out with like two children. I don't know how people do things like the 100 baby challenge or like taking care of 20 quid kids at once. I couldn't do that. I couldn't put myself under that amount of stress. Um, but there we go. So this part of the house is or the apartment is the entryway and I actually end up changing this. So originally I thought it'd be really cute to have it as like both the dad's office and a little area for the kids with a scouting table and a science table. I did move the scouting table and I moved the desk. I had to get rid of the science table because basically there was literally no room in this apartment for a dining table. And I thought if you've got five Sims living here and, you know, you could potentially have six as well because the double bed would fit two Sims. So you can have five to six Sims here. And I just thought, yeah, I need somewhere to sit. I didn't even have like an island counter that they could sit in. So I did have to kind of move that. Um, I ended up moving the computer to the dad's room because he would be the one using it. Um, and then at the scouts, um, like scouting board, I just kind of moved a little bit further along. So there's a little half wall divide there um, and I just put it on the other side. So this bathroom I actually do want to talk about because I'm not usually a fan of building bathrooms. They're just very like tick list, you know, just put like a toilet, a shower, um, a few like little accessories, sink, mirror, and then that's kind of it. But I actually really liked this bathroom. I think it's because it's got this kind of um, kind of turquoise teal um, scheme. I mean, the whole house is quite like blue and green in terms of the theme, um, but the kids room is kind of all over the place. So you might notice that what I kind of did um, in a lot of the rooms is to go with more neutral like flooring and wallpaper and then the um, like furniture and the decorations and stuff is really really colorful especially in the kids room. I do end up changing the um, wallpaper and the flooring that's currently in the kids room because I think I made it a bit too plain and boring um, but it was especially in the kids room that I really wanted to kind of express um, lots of color and personality because I say it's four different kids all with different hobbies and activities and interests and goals and things like that so yeah I wanted to kind of reflect that and make it very busy um whereas this is the dad's room and he likes green he likes kind of cool colors neutrals and things like that so I kept it a little bit more simple in here um but I do actually really like this room and I think it does kind of suit teachers that's why I gave him a little desk to like mark papers and things like that um, but yeah, I mean, if you've seen my videos before, you know that I absolutely love colour and yeah, just anything kind of bold um, and out there. So I enjoyed doing that part of the build. And then I also thought it was really important to use a lot of kind of wall decor and paintings as well, because again, just the idea that these kids have their own personalities and styles and there's definitely some creative kids in there as well. Um, I wanted to basically use up all the posters because, of course, that was another feature of the update that we finally have some more swatches for a lot of these kind of posters to be a lot more inclusive because it did all just look the same. I, you know, I was never a big fan of that, so I'm really happy that there is some more diversity and I think it's really cool as well. You can imagine like the kids, um, you know, having those kind of role models to look up to, having like the sports posters and the singers sort of hanging up on their bedroom wall. I think it's really cute. Um, so yeah, that's what I did a lot of like void critters and pop culture. I imagine, you know, they're into kind of everything that kids typically are. And um, so you've obviously got a lot of that in the bedroom, but it is quite a small apartment and there is four kids to one parent. So 
the way I kind of reflected that is to put a lot of kind of kids clutter and activities outside so originally I did put the little void critters um game into the hallway but it it just felt a bit cluttered and I wanted to move it into the bedroom but I do have you know a giant toy and a little um toy chest as well and the creativity table that you can see there um, so it's kind of like the kids are basically taking over the rest of the apartment, which I thought is probably inevitable if you have four children. I didn't grow up in a big household, but I can I can imagine how stressful and busy and loud and just full of like laughter and fun it is. So that's kind of what I wanted to get across. And then here I am just putting the dining table in because I couldn't do it before. And um, one thing as well that I was kind of thinking would be cute is I put a few different kind of pet related things in this build because it's a very hectic house, but what do most kids want um, is pets. So I imagine maybe they want a little cat and they're probably sort of begging their dad for a cat, but he just finds it already too hectic and too busy. So won't let them get a cat, but maybe one day they could, which I think would be really cute. Um, and then, yeah, I think the final part of this build is the kitchen, which is strange because I never leave the kitchen last. Usually the kitchen is the first room that I build I don't really know why. I think it's because of the bunk beds. I wanted to make this a very kind of kid oriented build and probably like the kitchen and the bathroom are like the least kid themed um, rooms in the house. So I kind of left it till last because that's not really what I wanted to focus on. Um, but it definitely draws on elements of the rest of the build. So it's got those kind of blue colors and there's just some nice kind of like homely clutter like I did that kind of homemade um plant pot over there and some like country um furniture that we got with the new country kitchen kit as well um and I think that's pretty much it we are just coming on to the screenshots in a minute and I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one bye